In this video we're going to make a mouth rig for our character. It's going to allow us to drag this green square and select one of four different mouths. Let's start with our 2D default blend. I'm going to save this as TJ mouth. Next import images as planes so file import images as planes navigate to where the textures are import mouse and mouse guide be sure to check use alpha every time make sure you check use alpha okay rx90 and apply the rotation all right let's get this one out of the way for now going to select the mouth guide. Alt G will move the mouth guide so that it is at the center point of your project. Let's make an object to use as a selector. Add a plane, RX90, apply the rotation. I'm going to name this new plane selector tab to edit mode. Um, hit A to select all the vertices. E to extrude and S to extrude scale. All right. Control tab will put us into face selection mode. Select this middle face. Uh, X to delete faces twice. All right, now we have the square that can be used. Oh, let's give it a let's give it a new material named green. Make this green. And also under object data, we're going to make it green as well. Alt G with the new selector selected is going to move it to the center. Um, let's go to tab again. To go to edit mode, I'm going to scale this down so that it, I'm just kind of eyeballing this, so that's about a quarter of the size and, oops, put it over this mouth. Uh, note that the origin of the selector is in the very center. Uh, I'm going to move this guide just back a little bit on the y-axis so gy okay now let's get this mouth so these are the four mouths we're going to put on our character uh, let's select this and we're going to go to uv editing let's put this in material mode and over here on the right select mouse Uh, tab U to unwrap and then now over here on the left hit A to select all the vertices scale this down and we're just gonna move this over so that the bottom left image for the mouth is centered on the plane on the right Okay, let's go back to default. And now, with the mouse selected under properties, we're going to add a UV warp modifier. So properties, modifiers, a little wrench, and add UV warp. What UV warp does is it uses the coordinates of two different objects to move this UV from each little image. So let's, we need two objects. Right now we have the selector and we need a base. So select the selector, hit Shift D to duplicate it. Um, let's see where is it? Okay, so it duplicated the selector and now it made selector.001. I'm gonna rename this selector base. Now in the UV warp modifier, 
selector base. So we're going to go from selector base to selector. Okay, now when we select the selector, we can move this around and it will change the part of the image that shows which mouth. Uh, the Z axis isn't working. Okay, hold on. So click on the mouse and under the UV warp modifier, we want to change Y to Z. So that's just telling it to use the Z and X coordinates of the selector. Cool. So now when I select the selector and move it on the X axis, it will go sideways and select the other mouth. And when I move it on the Z axis, it will go up and select the above mouth. The next thing we're going to do is add a constraint to this selector object because we don't want it floating off into space. The next thing we're going to do is add a constraint to this selector object because we don't want it floating off in space. We want it to stay over these four images. So under properties, constraints, add an object constraint, limit location. So add a limit location constraint. Make sure to change this to local space, not world space, but local space. Um, let's see. The Y value is always going to be zero. The minimum X value is going to be zero. And the maximum X value will be, let's see. So here's a little trick. So if I grab this now, now that the constraint is at zero, if I grab this selector on the X axis, it won't move. But if you look up here on the transform location, the number does get higher. So now what I can do in the constraint panel is click plus until it goes to the next image. So the maximum value will be 0.5. All right, let's do the same thing for the Z value. Uh, Alt G is a good way to get this back to its default value. So let's grab the selector on the Z axis, move it up. Again, you can see these numbers over here are changing, but it's not moving and that's because it's constrained. So now we're going to click on this to change the maximum Z value. And that is 0.5 as well. Okay. Alt G again. Now when we grab this selector, it can't move outside of the box. And it looks like when I'm on the top right corner that the image isn't quite lined up. I can see this little doodad from the other one. So let's go back to the UV edit window. Uh, go into edit mode. And let's just scale this and move it a little bit. Okay, so now you can see over here on the right that that little doodad is gone. Let's go back to the default window. Okay, that's better. When you drag this, to, it keeps going. And then when you try to move back, it seems like it's not gonna move. Uh, that's because, again, up here in the transform, you're, you gotta wait until you drag it all the way back to some value that is below your constraint value. Um, another way to get this back is just hit Alt G and that'll reset everything to zero and then it'll be easy to, oops, and then it'll be easy to move again. <clears throat> Next, I'm gonna make a label for the rig. So let's add a text, RX90, uh, tab to edit the text, let's just type mouth, scale this down, line it up. Okay. 
and let's convert this text to a mesh. So spacebar search type convert, convert to mesh. Let's give it a material. I'm just going to reuse the green object data, make that green. Um, okay, so now we want to parent everything to the mouth, including the selector base. So I just want to make that selectable and visible. Now we have one, two, three, four. All of the items in the rig are selectable and visible. All right, I'm going to go to Z for x-ray view, B to box select all of these items in the rig, shift right click the label last, control P, so now they should be all parented to the label. Okay, let's go to the outliner and I'm going to rename this label. Currently it's named text. I'm going to rename it TJ mouth rig. Um, so if you click this little plus sign, everything parented to the mouth rig is now inside of the rig. Um, now we need to add it to a group. So the first, let's select the top, the text, add to group, name the group TJ mouth, the guide, add that to the group TJ mouth selector selector base okay those are all grouped and the actual so this is the actual mouth we want to add that to the group as well all right let's go back to material view now i can grab the label use that to move the rig around and i can grab the oh you know what we need to hide the selector base make the selector base not selectable also the mouse guide make that not selectable so the only two things we can grab are the label to move it around and the selector to select each image now that we have all of these items in the rig and the mouth in a group that's going to allow us to append it into the other file so at the end of the last video we were at tj3 i'm going to go ahead and open tj3 now i can click file append go to tj mouth and this is going to open the tj mouth group so everything that was at, in that group is going to get appended to this file Okay, let's see, here is the, uh, the rig is behind the head, actually, so, okay. All right, and now I can use this rig to give him four different mouths. And in the next video, we're going to make a similar rig for the eyes.